is this one? Walk, but his real name is quarter knot. And how many beats does he take? One beat. Who is this one? Quarter rest. One beat. How about these ones? We call them run, run, but the real name is eighth knot. Two eighth knots. How many beats? One. When it has no color and a stick, who's that one? Half knot. How many beats will it take? Two beats. And who's the one that's just a circle? Whole knot. And how many beats will it take? Four. So look, we have one, 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 two, four. We need something for three beats. To make three beats, you do this. You make a half knot and you put a little dot next to it. The half knot takes two beats, the little dot takes one beat. So two plus one makes three. So when you see a half knot with a little dot, it will take three beats. And it's called dotted half knot. Dotted half knot or half knot with a dot. So this one will take three beats. So this is how it works with the knots. If you see a C, that is a half knot, but it has a little dot next to it, what would you say? You would have to say C, two, three. And you keep your thumb on the piano and you will go C. It's a C that will last three beats. If it's a sticky D, that's a half knot with a little dot. What would you say on that one? D, two, three. And if it's E with a little dot, what would you say? E, two, three. Oh, and who's the one? I'll put it close by so you can see. How about the one that's on the fa, 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 first space? F. But if it has a little dot, what would you say? F two, three, and if it's a G that has a little dot, what would you say? G, two, three. That's right.